Hello, hello, good evening. It is Nemi Batstone here with another um, Crafty Sunday. I am here in uh, Cooks Creek, Manitoba, just 20 minutes outside of Winnipeg, Northeast. And um, it's supposed to snow tomorrow. <laughs> so we had a beautiful day today, busy day. So I was up early and kidding all the welcome kits for our retreat that's coming up this Friday. So um, I'm hosting a retreat with my team and we start Friday afternoon at noon and then we finish Sunday at five. So I got a ton of prizes, when sure I put everything together, put the food supplies together, whatever else, the prize draws, everything. So I think we're gonna be in good shape. So all that's left is to get that tutorial printed and um, ready so yeah so it's gonna be a fun weekend anyway so next weekend I'll probably be doing a few impromptu videos just to say hi and to share with you the fun things we do at retreat okay so I'm gonna make sure we are up and running and my volume is good today it's all about kits so we have an amazing amount of. It's gonna make sure I can. Yeah. Okay. So we have a multitude of kits available um, on our website, and you know I would show you um, where they are in the catalog, but they really don't exist. And what happens is Stampin' Up has been releasing these amazing kits uh, that about every month or two. And so we usually get two new ones, I think is the plan. But they, it's it's a little different from Paper Pumpkin. So these, you can just go to our online exclusive or um, my website, and then you just click on shop and then pick your products, which would be uh, kits collection. And we have a bunch of kits that are um, for crafting. So then you get ink spots and a block and then the other ones are just card kits which have everything done for you and only require some assembly so i've been having a lot of kit parties and they've been turning out fantastic they're so much fun and they're great to have um, for a quick get together and a night out with friends and family or even with your kids so i'd like to share one of them and i'm sure i'm probably late to the party and many others have already shared them but my kit just arrived and so I wasn't um, able to get anything done earlier. Uh, I am only on here as much as I can because uh, I do work full time and this is my fun jobby. So if you are there, catch the replay, say replay, and uh, um, thank you and I will thank you in advance now. Uh, so normally I usually have kits for you as well that you can order. So these kits you'll have to order on my Facebook page. I mean, sorry, on my website. And if you do order kits, then I will put you in for a draw and send you some beautiful cards and some uh, designer series paper. And so you can actually just, you know, make your own cards as well at home. So let me share with you what I have and don't forget to say hello. So I'm going to flip you because we're at the end of February and we want to get started on this kit. And one more reminder, we've got, today's the 25th, I think, or is it the 26th? I don't even know anymore. Okay, so February 25th. Okay, so we have four days left for celebration, four days. So that means you have four days to shop from our beautiful celebration catalog and get your last free items. And there are additional items that are available online. So make sure you um, browse those as well and take advantage because we literally only have four days. And if you want to be or are curious about being a demonstrator, no strings attached. Majority of my team are hobbyists. So I would love to have you and just be a part of our community of crafters and share with us. Um, we're a pretty tight group and we get together once a month, sometimes even more, and it's just to celebrate and, you know, enjoy our friendships and create together. So, four days left. So think about it. 
Um, don't think too long and make sure you place your final order. And then if you do order $120 or more, so that's like getting two free celebration items, you get invited to my celebration birth, uh, celebration celebration. I can't even say it. Um, on March 13th. So we're gonna have a little Zoom party and have some fun. And uh, yeah, so I've already got some of it started and I'll send you a little kit and we'll make some cards together online and then we'll go from there. <laughs> Trying to watch and coach therapy. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> no worries. You can always catch a replay on me because you know, the Jets, I don't know, it's harder to catch that replay, I think. But thanks for, um, thanks for supporting and joining me. Okay, so we're gonna flip and I know my battery is running low, so I'm gonna make sure I'm charged. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, go like that. Oh, I'm gonna make sure this is off as well. So uh, again, last four days. So there is right here. Oh, I guess you can't see it. it is my last four days of my host code. So I usually look at my host code for the month. And who's ever ordered with me gets some free gifts. And as well, oops, there we go. Yep, there we go. So I don't have a card kit, but I will send you five cards and some designer series paper instead if you order with me this week. And so that's my last host code. And then as of March 1st, we'll have a new one. And again, if you order $120 worth, you'll get tons of free um You'll get invited, not free, oh my gosh. You'll get invited to our My Celebration Celebration. <gasps> Holy smokes, I'm so, it's been a crazy weekend. So yeah, so let me share. So kits, kits, kits. Our kits come in these beautiful boxes, right? And each of these boxes, now, I use my boxes for a lot of things. People don't even, like, don't ever throw them away. I'm a little crooked. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm straight. I'm like, it's funny because on my screen, on my phone screen, it shows I'm straight. But then on the computer screen, it shows I'm crooked. Okay. So the Stampin' Up! boxes come like this. And the one we're going to create with today comes in a square box. And look how bright and shiny that is. It's like as if it was freshly stamped or something. Anyway, I don't throw these away. They're great for storage, and they're also great for gift, um, gifting. <clears throat> okay, just choked on this one here. Okay, so when you open them up, this is one of the new kits that just came out, and it's also the prize, one of the prizes um, for our retreat this weekend. So it's the new birthday sparkle kit, which I'm sure you've seen others create with already. I was going to open it, but I'm like, nope, this is for the retreat, so I can't open it. And it comes with this gorgeous stamp set. So you have a sense when you can use over and over again. And early espresso ink spot, which is perfect if you go to a lot of retreats or you go to the cottage or anything. You can easily take this kit with you. And then as you can see, it even gives you the block. So the only thing, because you got dimensionals as well, the only thing you need to add to this kit is a pair of scissors. So that's all you need to pack. And there's plenty of room in here for a pair of scissors. <laughs> so that's one of the kits. Um, I'll share another one. That's one of my favorites as well. And it's the Painted Wishes. So this came out um, beginning of January. So this one is a craft kit. So there is no ink spot or anything, but it gives you, again, everything you need. So take the box or just take this pack it with you and you're good to go. And all again, all you really need is scissors because you're gonna need scissors to cut the ribbon. But it makes these beautiful gold foiled cards and then these beautiful matching coordinating envelopes. Like, so stunning. Again, one of our retreat prizes. So that's why I can't open that one. And then the third one is our, or one of my other favorites is the um, Rock Legend kit. And this one I actually have open, so I will show that one with, to you right away. And then what else do I have here? Which one is this one? Oh, yes. So this one is the cute panda one. I thought it was kind of me, but then when I opened it, and I haven't finished creating this one, but it comes with this cute little panda 
and then slimline cards. Now, I changed out my stamp. So this one is actually comes with ink. And I actually stamped mine um, with For You from the Be Mine. But look how cute that panda is. Isn't he cute? So cute. Or she. But this one, I'm just going to open it. Right here. You can see you get all your little pandas, all your cards, um, all your pieces. And this one is also a craft kit. So it comes in different languages, French, German, I believe, and then English. And so you can just use those and you don't even need anything. Comes with your adhesive. So you get all your adhesive and your embellishments and you're good to go. And these cute little envelopes. How cute is that? So perfect. I didn't finish this one, but it's there. And I just love it. And look at these cute little envelopes. So usually I'll show you one that I packed. So one of the things I like to do with these boxes is re-gift them. So I'll leave my box as is. And then inside, I will add a bunch of cards ready to go. So this is the rock and roll one. And so it comes with these four cards. So this one is a, these ones without ink is like $20. Like how can you go wrong? And then it comes with this beautiful paper or envelope that has this gorgeous pattern on the inside. And then these four that came with it as well. So you could stamp the inside with whatever stamps you have on hand. And then the other four envelopes have the black. So I figured black with black, the red with the other one. And I still had leftover dimensionals and stars. So I can use those for a different project. But I will usually go like this and then wrap it nicely in some tissues, close it up, put a little, put another card here. So I could take like, say, the panda from here and literally take this card, put it in the envelope, um, and then stick that here on the front. And I would normally just take a big, nice chunk of ribbon, tie it all up to the side, have my card sitting here, and now it's a perfect gift, right? Like, who doesn't want to receive this? And it costs you 20 bucks, $20, no different, and $20 gift card, or give them a $20 um, a gift that is filled with handmade cards ready to go for any occasion, right? How awesome is that? And this one, this Rock Legend, still had tons left over, also comes in other languages. So um, these are all my leftover pieces. So I could reuse them if I want. And I usually keep these because then all I have to do is flip them over and then I can stamp on the back side. So they're all punched, ready to go. Even these guys, these guys are just black with splatter on them. So I could flip it, ink this all up, and then put in my own sentiment. So don't waste them just because they're in a different language that you don't often use. Or if you do and you are bilingual, this is perfect. You can use um, these to share and then you get double. So you get your French and your English and you can send them out. So now you've got double. Anyway, I keep these and then use the back side. I got this from somewhere. Don't know where this one came from. I'll stick that there. And then you're good to go. So that's how I, I do them. Um, if I had ribbon, I didn't go get ribbon. I should have. And I keep all my thick ribbon and chunky other cross supplies I don't use often in the garage so I forgot to go grab it so I could show you a finished one but this is what I would do so $20 gift card or this beautiful $20 kit with handmade cards in it ready to go I think is a best gift you can give anybody and I gift them all the time so you know pick some up use my host code they're 20 bucks each these ones that I've shared with you so simple and easy and you can bring them with you like I did this legendary kit and the painted wishes one I don't have any left because I literally gifted it and um, at my son's soccer practice so I was done just like that so yeah 
And of course, everything's given to you. So here's a couple tips. There's always a ruler along the side. So you never have to pack a ruler. And it gives you two measurements, like both, um, both units of measure, right? So you have that there. And it gives you a great tutorial on different, on the process. And of course, always in our kits here, you can also scan these um, QR codes and it'll give you alternatives. So if you don't want to make it exactly as it's shown in the actual instructions, you can click on these and they'll give you some ideas on um, other card designs you can create with it. Thanks, Gail. I know, right? I always love it. And I also use my box to also store my ink spots. <laughs> so I keep ink spots in them as well. So it's easy to transport. So for some reason, my camera seems to be a lot closer and yet I'm super high than I normally am. So I'm just gonna shift that a bit again. So we have more room and we'll open this one. So I haven't opened this one. So this is the house plant kit. And I've been eyeing this one and been waiting to get it. So I finally got it. And it comes in a square box versus a rectangle. Well, duh, I wonder why. And it's super duper cute. So here it is. Ta -da! So here's all our pieces and our frames. Oh, and there's our instructions. Fantastic. And then it comes with four photo frames. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's perfect. It's perfect to go into my bathroom because my guest bathroom has nothing on the walls. And I've been trying to figure out what to put in there. So I thought that these little, what are they? Four, let's see. So these are seven inch by seven inches. So you got 14 inches plus a gap and a foot and a half that pattern. So two feet, two foot by two foot pattern. Sorry. Yeah. That can go on your wall. One and a half, two. Yeah, you could spread it out depending how you spread it out. So keep this box because you can use this box. It's great storage, even though it's a square. It'll work perfectly and you can use it. Okay, so we have four photo frames. So we're going to get our scissors here and crack this open. So I always like to make sure I got all my pieces and know what my pieces are. So we got four frames. One, two, three, four. Voila. There you go. Ta-da. Now, this is a great idea because, um, as you know as well, we usually do 3D projects like a 8 by 8 or a 12 by 12. So this is no different, except these are smaller. And they're so fun to make and put on your wall as decoration, right? I think we tend to forget that. I know somebody... Um, who I follow on Facebook, uh, or Jennifer McGuire, she does it too, where she takes her 12, like, beautiful designer series paper and just uses them on the wall in frames. Super cute. Okay, so our instructions are right here and gives us a full guide of how to create everything. No, this is the first time I've seen a kit with photo frames. Like, literally, like, I honestly believe that Stampin' Up! is really stepping up their game with these new kits, right? Like, I haven't even seen a Paper Pumpkin. So Paper Pumpkin is the original kit. Um, and these are competitive to any other kits that are out there in the industry. The quality is amazing. The instructions are easy to follow. You literally don't even need a block. Like, you don't need to carry your own acrylic blocks like some of the other kits in the industry, like some of the other competitors. Uh, you don't, you can expand and use the pieces. You always get extra pieces. I'm not kidding you. You do. So then I usually keep this because I make mini scrapbooks. So those are handy. And then we have our pieces here. So look at those. Now, isn't that pretty? So I am definitely, so my bathroom, and I will share it with you. Um, I should show you a picture. My bathroom literally is um, gold and white with accents of black so I figured this would go great in my bathroom so we've got all our patterns here and I guess we're going to use our cutouts and then we have our frames which is perfect and then as well they have given us some mini 
dimen some dimensionals. So I guess we're going to need that as well. I'll put that off to the side. So the first thing I usually do when I have a kit is I pop these pieces out. And I usually use a tray to, if I have lots of pieces, I put them in a tray. So you can get trays. Let me see if I have one here. So the tray I usually get, oh, mine is full. <laughs> mine is full of pieces right now that are telling me it needs to be created with. So I'll show you. It's my fall one. So you can get these trays from, you know, Dollar Tree. At, actually, at our last retreat, I give gifts to everybody. So this was um, one of the gifts we gave everybody at the last retreat. So they got this, and then I had their name tag in here in the center, and then we had their cookie and um, a bunch of their treats on the side. So it was perfect. And then they get to take this home, and then they can use it to put all their pieces that you create with and cut up and die cut when you mass produce or whichever and throw them all in here and it's good to go. So I have lots of these. So this is my fall one, which I haven't finished working with yet. And then I have a bunch of other ones. So they are fantastic. Now here in Canada, um, and especially in Winnipeg, you can get them at the Dollar Tree. You, not Dollar, not Dollarama, but I actually get them at the Dollar Tree. And I think they are in the makeup section, I believe. So that's where I think they sit. Okay, so we've got these pieces coming out. Now they're um, not hard to make, of course, but they are fun. So um, I find our kits to be very relaxing. <laughs> so we've got different pieces, different piles. So I just want to make sure. Now I'm going to assume that they're also like, maybe all of these go on one frame. Those go on, these ones go on another. I don't know. We'll see. Oh no, I can see by the picture here. Based on these four images, that is not helpful. So these ones go together. And then there's a basket. So this one's probably this one. And then these ones go with, the brown basket I can see it here so that this one here I will drop you down some more now that I've got the box out of the way and you have a better view there we go drop this down a bit okay now this is scrap and let's see okay so this is our background background did you gotta make sure oh, okay so this one goes with these Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ta -da. and then you got the big pot which I believe goes well we'll know when we go through the instructions so I could be wrong you never know oh I am see this one goes here, I think, and then you got the stripey one, which goes with these, and then you got this basket, which looks like goes with these ones. Okay, I think that's how it is. <laughs> and then we got our four frames. Yay! So I should have said, "Hey, Gail, what time did we start at?" <laughs> then we'll see how long it actually takes to put this kit together. They don't take long. They don't. Okay, so there's number one, number two, number three, number four. Now, these instructions are like IKEA instructions. That's what I call them. I'm like, did you guys follow the IKEA instructions? <laughs> so this one is a summary, one, two, three, four. So you know which pieces go with which. And you can also see anything that's hexagon means it's a dimensional. If you see little tiny dots, it means a mini glue dot. And then again, on the back, shows you everything that goes with it, what's inside of it, and what colors coordinate. So we got Calypso Coral, Garden Green, Granny Apple Green, Lemon Lime Toast, and Pecan Pie. And then, of course, Beginner. And um, so it lets you show a bunch of different alternatives. And if you scan this code, it says, watch details and instructions. So every one of our kits has a video. So if you're ever stuck, you can follow along in the video. So that's the only difference. Ikea does not give you videos. <laughs> we give you videos. Hello, Kathy. How are you? 
super excited about retreat. Um, I'll definitely have to get in there early. My week, you you guys, is just, oh, it's insane. So our kids' schedule got completely flipped around because, I don't know, it just did. And so our normal routine is not happening. And retreat is this weekend, and I usually spend my Thursday nights going to the hall, making sure everything is ready and set up. And I found out this weekend that the kids have a game on Thursday at one at 6.15 and the other one at 8.15. So I'm like, oh, great. So when am I going to set up for the hall? <laughs> the joy. Okay, so here's something neat. Never seen them do this before. It's got a pencil there and is telling us to um, uh, roll the edges, I guess. And I'm like, which edges? So I'm not too sure. It shows, take the paper, I guess, and roll the edges. So I'm assuming it means our leaves. And this one needs this this pot. It says these ones. So this is the one we're using. So we'll put those three piles away for now. So yeah. Oh, hallelujah. The chairs is a big deal. The chairs take up so much of my time. Um, especially if I'm by myself, but I'm going to have a few helpers this time around. Yay. So that makes a big difference. So I'm going to grab the dimensionals that came with it. Normally, I don't usually use what's in the kit because I have my own packs that are already open. See, like this one. Um, and then I use these as gifts. But today, because we're using the kit, let's see how many we have left over because we always have tons left over and we can see how what we can do, what, how much this actually uses. So it tells us to put one right about there and one there. So I'm literally following the instructions. Now, how many of you have ever got, received a paper pumpkin kit or one of our online exclusive kits? So if you have, just place a comment in the, in the comments, um, especially if you're catching a replay, because I would love to know which one of these is like your favorites. So we're just curling this up a bit because it says to curl it up. Okay, so now we have these three and I believe we just literally place this right on top so we can see the others right behind it. So again, I'm gonna curl these ends. I was gonna use my take your picture, but I always find that that's too thick. I personally find using a pencil because it's nice and thin or a pen, a lot easier to work with. I'm going to put that away just to curl my ends. And then we need three more again. So we'll add another one here, like it says. And then up here. It's a little, I think it's a little tight. So we're just going to go with two and save ourselves a dimensional, like so. And then we just place it right over top. And it looks like right in the middle again. So uh, roughly there. So now we've got this layered look on there. And I think these are going to look so fantastic in my bathroom. I will show you. Actually, you know, I was debating. I was debating on whether or not I should put floating shelves first and then put these on there. So I was like, hmm. So would love your opinion on that. So I might share a photo of my bathroom. Because honestly, I think I was thinking I would put these above the toilet. I thought that would be an ideal spot. But we shall see. Okay, so I have to flip this so I can make sure I'm flush. So it just says to line it up right there in the center, like so, flush, and we're good to go. Super cute. Oh, it's a little higher because now I can't see that back leg. Oops, let's try that again. So pull that up. Now we're going to go a little farther up. There we go. Because then now we can see the back leg. Oh, it's perfect because you could just use the edges as a guide to make sure you're centered. And there's my first one. Well, that didn't take very long now, did it? Okay, number two is a hanging basket. 
So we'll grab that. And that's this one right here. And it looks like we need these pieces here and this basket. So it says to use the basket first. Okay. So we're going to put that basket there with three dimensionals on the back. So one, two, three, un, deux, trois, or in, in Tagalog, and then line this up. What is it, what is it in Spanish? <laughs> there we go, or any other languages. <laughs> there you go. And then we've got our two, so it looks like this one here, the wavy one first, so the little one, and then we got the folding one there. So it's great because it literally matches the photo. And now it's telling us to put one here and one here in the center, which I think is a little tight, but we got it. And oops, and then one over here. Okay. Personally, I think these are a little big. We could probably get away with going with minis, in my opinion. But hey, what do I know? Okay, so now it's showing that my leaves are pointing up and down so that's that so i think we're just going right in the middle here and partly sitting on it around there and i say that because i can see some gaps there so i might be a little too low but we'll see and then this one goes right over top um, around there. Okay, like so. Perfect. Okay, so we'll flip this one over and it says we need four. So one there, one right about there, and then another in the middle, and this middle. A little much, I think. But hey, what do I know? Okay, that's what it says to do. So that's what we do. And then it fits right in there. Super duper cute. How cute is that? So I almost feel like I need to add some words. <laughs> you know, maybe live, love, laugh. Or I don't know. Um, I feel like, like what words could you, could you put on here? I didn't curl the ends and I'm supposed to. Miss that step, folks. So we can just curl these easily super simple because they're loose and so uh, we didn't put we didn't secure every end down so we're good and really it's you can't even see the ones underneath okay wow look see we're flying okay we need the pot we need the pot so that's this one here and one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, with the lonely one on the side there. And then that's these ones. So these are going together so fast. I could have easily did another kit with you. Um, but you could just go get a bunch of stuff. And we'll go kit together more often, I think. I think we should. So this one's to use four, but honestly, these are so big. I think you can get away with three. So why waste? Now, this one shows it right at the bottom of this guy right here. So I'm gonna stick that there, make sure he's straight. I got to lift him up a bit. Yeah, straight, I think. And then we got our two pieces. So we're gonna take our big one first, and we're gonna put dimensional here, and then another pop tart over here. I'm just trying to make sure, you're probably like, why is she going so slow? And the reason I'm going slow is I just want to make sure none of the edges of the dimensionals are showing. Okay? Because I don't want that peering through. Okay. And then, let's see. It looks like, I think it goes, um, okay. So it was flipped this way. So we probably just flip it this way and put that along the center. So it goes right about there. Oh, that totally makes sense because now we're attached to that leaf. And then this one, 
will go right in the middle here to give it more lift. Perfect. Okay, so we've got one right about there. And then, surprisingly, one on each end here. There. And right about there. I'm just making sure we don't, we aren't peering on the end. Okay, so we'll flip and we're going to line that to that center stem as well. And there you go. There's number three. Wow. Cruising. Ooh, ooh. So everybody can go back to the jet game after this because it's super fast. So this one is sitting on a ledge and right here. So these kits are seriously 20 bucks. Like now, if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, they are literally $20 or less because you get your 25% off. So they're only $15 plus your shipping and taxes. So by the time you're done, they are $20. So $25 if you are not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, all the more reason why you need to become one because you get that 20 or 25. So you get 20% off first. And then you get 25 after that. But not only that, like, who's on here? Gail, I believe. <laughs> so anybody who's on my team, we actually get together every month. We just got together on Friday. And it was entertaining because Marie usually takes minutes and I'm not, not me. And so I did forget to do our prize draws on the video. <laughs> Because we record them and then we post them to our team page. So good thing someone remembered. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So I always gift prizes and give challenges. And then you can earn prizes, which is usually um, credits so that you can pick whatever you want from the catalog. Yeah, so much fun. So anyway, and then we also get together to celebrate. So just remember, it's my birthday coming up. So as a team, we're going to do something fun. And so I don't know if other online demonstrators or your, de your, your leader does fun things like that, but I definitely do. So, you know, you should come join us. <laughs> That's a really bad pitch comparing myself to other demonstrators cause, or leaders because I really should. They are so fun and they are really, I learn a lot from them and they learn from me. So I appreciate it. And we're all different. But that's one of the things. We get together once a month. We talk Stampin' Up! And we share projects we're working on, regardless what it is. And then this one goes in the middle, I believe. Yep. Maybe a little lower. Right in there. Yeah, right there. Because it's kind of hanging over. So it kind of filled that little gap there. Anyway, it's lots of fun. So next month, our Stampin' Up! Canadian... DDM, so she's Genevieve Co. She's also a demonstrator, but she also represents us at head office. We're all the Canadian demonstrators across Canada. And so she's going to be our guest at our team meeting. So if you'd like to, you know, learn more, you're more than welcome to come to our team meeting for free. There's no strings attached. You just get to come and meet everybody. And you don't have to sign up or be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. We just want you as part of our community because it's fun. Okay, so here we go. Now we open these up. And yeah, so I'm going to ask Genevieve to be our, you know, our mystery stamper and have her create a card with us and for us and then uh, turn it into our, you know, challenge. So there's this fun stuff on here called film. So it's to protect it and keep all those, you know, fingerprints that I'm getting on it right now clean. But it's also to make sure that you don't get any scratches. So I'm just going to peel this off. Come on. There we go. Now it's off. Okay. So I'm so glad this comes with it because I was like, oh, I'm going to keep those clean in the bathroom. So this will actually work really well. Okay, so we'll go like that, and then we'll add, it's a, a router, go back to our first one here, and we'll put that right in the frame, like so, and then add, 
this. Oh, I better make sure I put it the right way. We'll check. Let's do a quick check. Yep. Okay, yeah, good. It's on the other side. So I peeled the film off and kept that facing up because I knew my fingers were on the other side. And then I can clean those afterwards. Let's see. <gasps> Beautiful. There's our first one. What do you think? First one. So cute. Okay, let's get this. Set. Oh, shoot. Forgot the frame. See? Forgot the frame. Forgot the frame. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, let's get that back out. Now, here's the fun thing. You could totally swap these out to whatever you want down the road. How fun is that? And easy is that? So, I'm stuck here. There. So these are so much fun. And if you want to have a theme, let's say you're like, oh, I'm going to switch them out for, you know, Christmas and put some Christmas easy photos in here, then uh, you can. You should do that. You should change these out. And then that way my bathroom has a new design every every time. So we've got one. I'm just going to look at them because I can. And then let's just do this one because it's here. So I'm going to pop this one open. Same thing. Like, I don't even know what time it is. Like, I'm probably not even close to 8 o'clock and we're done already. Yay. But I do encourage you to please consider getting our kits. They are so cute. Um, I know uh, there are plenty out there. But these are so simple to make. And they're great for beginners and avid stampers. Because all of you avid stampers can take these and convert them into something else, right? So feel free to go rogue. I love it when people buy our kits and then they go rogue and show some really neat designs, uh, especially when you have fancy envelopes that you can rip apart and put on just white cardstock or colored cardstock and turn them into additional cards. So your kit may only have eight, but by the time you're done, you've probably done 20 right? 20 cards out of one kit. So that's like a buck a piece. Why not? There, that's two. Oh, they're so pretty. I think these are going to look fantastic in my bathroom. And I will take a before and after pic and share it with you. Well, and plus I'll probably, you know, need an opinion. So, because I'm terrible at those. You know, this would actually look really nice in my on suite as well, because I have a spot where there's you know, an empty spot. And these would go well in there too. Okay. There's our next one. Woo -woo -woo. Now there's also, if you notice, this cute little hook here. So you can just tack a little nail because these are not heavy into your wall. Or if you're like me, <laughs> I'm lazy and don't like to damage my walls. So I use the 3M Velcros. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Nice. Sorry. So the 3M Velcro strips are fantastic. And they don't damage your walls. In fact, like my camera right above us here is being held um, on a ceiling mounted stand. Uh, and the ceiling mount stand is actually held with 3M tape. I didn't bolt the plate to the ceiling. I actually just left it as is and just used 3M tape. Now, 3M Velcro also comes, I say Velcro because it's two pieces that are like, oops, that are like Velcro and they come in different weights. So you just got to make sure you grab the right weight. And if you use three or four, well, and each one can hold up to 10 pounds. Well, now you've got um, these 3M Velcro strips that can hold 40 because you used four. Or, right. And, yeah. Whew, that's a little difficult to pry. There we go. That's all four. So, we're done. Wowzers. What time is it? And it's only 7.44. Woohoo. Or 41. I can't read. So, I'm moving this up so you can see. Sorry about that. All four. So, here's the four frames. Um... I don't know which order should I put them on the wall 
So these two look a little fluffy, so maybe I go this way on the wall. What do you think? I'm not too sure. I guess it I guess it really doesn't matter, but I think it makes sense to have the two skinnies. I'm gonna turn this light off because it's probably giving us glare. Um, versus, you know, the two two more bushier wide ones like that. I think, but I do like this hanging one. I wonder if it'd be better focal point if it's up there instead. Yeah, not so bad. But I do find that these two are light and then you got your two dark ones. So that might be an issue as well. But if I move them, then I'm gonna get all my more fluffy on one side and then my skinny on the other. And I don't think I like that combination very much. I think it it looks, or do I go like this? So then you have your two skinnies, but then you have your contrasting colors. And then, yeah, I think this one is a better pattern. So yeah, I would love to know <laughs> what pattern you think makes sense right do you put the skinnies on top and then the lower but see I've got now I've got two color and contrast right so that they're not if I went like this and you have light going to dark does that make sense versus this one going this way and then you have your light diagonal and then your darks um and then your skinnies on top purging down to your to your wider fluffier plants I think that's the way I'm going to go yeah, in my bathroom. So if I, right now, this measures at, so I'm at about 12, and then again, yeah, so we're about 14 inches, but then you add your spacing, and then your spacing down here, you're looking at, at least I don't have my, um, what should I call it, 12, so you're about 16 inches, so a, a foot and a quarter. Uh, so yeah, depending on your space, that's probably where I would go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it gives you a sneak peek of what our kits are really like. This is one of the dimensional kits. I've, I've never seen anybody offer kits like this before. Um, well, I shouldn't say never. I have in the past, but not through your typical um, paper crafting business businesses or DSAs and then they're accelerators I should say but this is the leftover so you can see I still have tons of dimensionals which now I get to use on other projects and I love the white frames clean and simple with a bright bit of greenery so I'm definitely putting these in our bathroom love 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 it and very affordable and reasonable so you know you can put these in a row in a quadrant separate spots it's perfect um, you could even add text if you wanted to. So consider that as well. So anyway, that's it. Um, I hope we can kit together again soon. So please do consider buying these kits and adding them to your collection. Like I say, they're all very different. Um, I've shared a few of them with you. And maybe there's one or two that, you know, you really like, like that birthday sparkling one is so pretty. Um, it's going to be one of our prize draws. So I didn't want to create that one with you here today, but I know other demonstrators already have, and you watch lots of them. And um, the Painted Wishes one is my other favorite. We also just finished doing a class with the Robot Buddies. So I had a few, like literally seven people come over to my house and we had a kit party and they've, none of them have never stamped before. So we had so much fun. And of course you don't finish because, you know, we had snacks and we had some chats and, but they all took it home and they all like half of them stayed up, got up early the next day and finished their kit. So yeah, that's what it's all about. Anyway, I thank you for kidding with me and we will see you um, next Sunday. Um, next Sunday, I'm hoping I have a recap of what retreat was like, so you can sign up for our next one. <laughs> so take care, enjoy your week and stay warm. It's supposed to snow tonight and midnight between six in Winnipeg here in Manitoba. So be prepared. Winter's coming again. 
Otherwise, the rest of you have a great um, week, and we'll see you next Sunday. Happy stamping.